Is Paige Beckers returning for another year of women's college basketball? Well, all signs are pointing that way. The 22 year old six foot redshirt junior has experienced just about everything short of a national championship in her four years at stores. As a freshman, she won the Naismith Trophy, AP Player of the Year, and she was just about the biggest name in women's college basketball. Sure, UConn did not win the championship that season, but they did make it to the Final Four, where they would eventually lose to Arizona. In her sophomore year, Paige battled through a, a big knee injury that, that cost her uh, a good portion of the season, uh, but she was healthy enough for the NCAA tournament where she helped the Huskies reach the national championship game where they would eventually lose to the South Carolina Gamecocks. Then that, that summer, uh, as Paige was re preparing for her junior year, boom, she tears her ACL and misses the entire season. Now fast forward another year and here we are. Paige Beckers is back, she's healthy, and she's balling for her team. So far averaging 18.1 points a game, 4.3 assists per game, um, and all in all being a phenomenal and vocal leader for this team. And this is something that we haven't seen in years past for Paige Beckers, but but we, we, we are definitely seeing leader Paige this season. So all in all, this is a great opportunity. She's had lots of growth throughout her college career, it's a great opportunity for her to maybe celebrate her successes and plan for the 2024 draft, right? Because she's 22, remember? Well, wrong in this case, because Paige has some unfinished business to attend to. She hasn't won a national championship. And since she spent so much time injured, she wants to really enjoy playing with her teammates when everyone is actually healthy. Here's what coach Gina Oriyama and Paige Beckers had to say yesterday. I'm proud of her. She's, you know, she's probably one more college year away from really, really getting it. <laughs> Coach said you've done a really good job overall leadership, something in your role, but he said you could probably use one more year of college to get everything done. <laughs> Have you talked to him about that? Uh, yeah, sometimes. I, I mean, at the beginning of the season, he didn't want me back. He probably wants me back. So. It just depends the, the ebbs and flows of the season, but still a conversation we're having. How much of a factor is, you know, wanting to do something with a and with Aubrey and the fact that both of them could be back next year, does that make any difference to you at all? Yeah, I think that's what it's all about. It's not about teams in the draft, who's got what pick. It's all about me loving playing here, me loving my teammates and wanting to get more experiences and more time with them and more time in the program. Um, and so that's, I think, the deciding factor, um, just wanting to be here longer and not anything necessarily that's already picked and chosen in the draft. So with all of that in mind, it feels like it's basically a done deal that Paige is going to return next season back to stores for another round of UConn women's basketball. And honestly, to me, it makes sense for her to stay another year, even though she does have eligibility for two more years. So she could stay two more years, but I I think it makes sense for her to at least stay one more year. Um, because regardless of the prominence of other programs, such as South Carolina, LSU, UCLA, UConn, and specifically Connecticut is still a huge hub for women's college basketball probably the biggest hub in the country for women's college college basketball and also just women's basketball in general. Um, the, the, the state of Connecticut uh, has the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. Uh, UConn is just a huge name when it comes to basketball, uh, especially on the women's side. And it, it makes sense for her to stay another year to just see what is possible with a fully healthy roster, assuming that they get a fully healthy roster. Uh, by staying another year, Paige would have another chance to play with her really good friend, AZ Fudd. Um, the pair will have another attempt to win the elusive national championship uh, that they really wanted to get when they both decided to come to UConn. Uh, they, they've spent a lot of time injured. Uh, we haven't seen both of them play on the court for a very long time without one of them eventually getting injured. So, so you know, the possibility of Paige returning next year, next season, um, AZ Fudd being healthy uh, when next season starts, 
uh, it's promising for us to see what was in store for, for UConn before all the injuries started happening. Uh, but even with an eye on next season, it's not like UConn is using this year as a throwaway year because they're not. Even with all the injuries uh, that this team has faced so far, they are still looking to make some noise uh, in the Big East and also in the NCAA tournament when we head over to March. So we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, that is the video. Uh, let me know what you all think about the fact that Paige Beckers is most likely gonna return back to stores for at least another year. Do you think that Paige and AZ will win that national championship? Uh, also, UConn, if you haven't noticed, has been very good lately. They've won eight games straight um, and they're looking great. So let me know what your, what your predictions are for the remainder of the season for UConn. Um, because if they can stay healthy, well, the, the, the ones that are, that are healthy, if they can stay healthy, you know, they could make some serious noise in the tournament. Um, but let me know you guys, your, your thoughts in the comments below. If you have not liked this video, I would just ask if you could please hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And until next time guys, bye.